Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. And he calls himself my equal. Darth Arcus tarnishes the entire Dark Council with his treachery. I know, Dark Lord, and for having played my part in serving him, I apologize. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darrock are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming. I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. This is Lana. Darth Arcus isn't there. I can sense him. We have to learn what he and the Selkath are doing down there and confront him. To have your run of the place, you'll need to shut down the security grid. You have the coordinates now. I'll stay in touch.
I have met our potential ally, who's already proved quite resourceful. He's learned of a prisoner in the security hub who's been scheduled for disposal by experimentation. This Jakari sounds like someone you might want to as soon as you can claim that you have a Confesses what Kira Kranban. Thank <laughs> you. 
someday the servant will be the master. My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot, I implore you! I didn't come here to listen to you bicker. Now say something useful, or lose the ability to speak. I am C2D4. Former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkat geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. <laughs> So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Derek are working together. Is that significant? We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. Nice to see you've made a new friend. Friends, as it were, but a warning. You're about to encounter members of the Order of Shasa, force sensitive Selkat who are neither Jedi nor Sith. Their complicity here does not bode well for us.
die.
confieses por Kira Kanban. Time to talk. This The hard way. Nembog king avila gito turko. Latate hata mogot a. Trouble is putting it mildly. I'm the thing that haunts you in your sleep. Estavo la meg mingil uge. Oze disazos. Homa Leban, Hosu Idon Keras Tulas Elva Lasto as Bolt Ahatasa Amun Kaja Kostunk, Vota Hoje Mar Inlet, Ete Valahol. Eves told Ere ni as Igrit. Lean Parnata Fader Zitin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us. Shoot him already! <laughs> Let your hate be your guide, Ikaru. <laughs> uh. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? 
No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. No, I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need... from their alpha cyborg. That thing's serious and it's coming right for you. Stay sharp.
Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. You. With the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? As a matter of fact, I do. Figured. Guess we'll have a chat about that when you get to the surface. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. You could always join the Empire. I think you'd make a welcome asset. I'm oddly flattered. Not even going to consider it, of course, but flattered. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron, except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Derek are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. Every indication is that Revan died. Surely he's not in control of the Order that bears his name. It's not Revan himself. But those who follow his doctrine were concerned with. They seem to have grown rather bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... <coughs> And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done.
I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. You should know that I was made a Revanite. After crossing Darth Arcus, I doubt your membership stands. Not that the Revanites of now resemble the group as you understood it. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. Good at his job or not, he's not bad to look at. Yes, he does have a certain way about him. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? The Wookiee smuggler and his droid. How do they fit in? It's not entirely clear to me, but Jakara will prove useful to us. That much I sense unmistakably. I should get to my investigation. Whatever Arcus's Revanites and their infinite army has in store for the galaxy, it can't be good. May the Force ever serve you. <laughs>